the symbol of showing love and kindness. Now, I discuss Dr. S.S. Sani, Honorable Principal, the Bank of Russia, the Resource Person, Dr. Sikhir Kumar Dharayana Sami, Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Application, DIT Willow. Seminar. I would like to invite our esteemed chief guest, Dr. Sethil Kumar Narayana Swami, Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Application, EIT Thank you for our principal, the, the college union president, and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Ramesh Kumar sir and PC Juri Kalimula sir and other dignitaries on the dais and invited in the students. Before I start my presentation, first and foremost I want to say certain things to you all. And it's a great pride and honor for me to come here because I have a great alumnus. And I don't know if anyone is studying in C. Abdul Ajim College but I feel it and I felt a long way back and it is in my blood and it is growing through in my blood forever. The kind of faculty that I had during the time of my study was still I remember and you don't know that after 19 plus years of experience and by this August I am going to complete 20 years of teaching experience, I still emulate the values and the life orders that I learned in this college. When I go to a class every day, even now, today I have a class of 10 to 11 at VIT. When I go to the class, I just stand there for two minutes without talking anything to the student. Even now. Why I'm doing it? Because the faculty at C. Abdul Abdul College were like that particularly. The English professor finding the around. And the mathematical professor, Abhijitullah, Abhijitullah sir, that came to the class, stands, stands still, not delivering anything, and respecting to us. When we are playing or we are talking, they, want, they don't want to disturb us. They let us go on our way. After two minutes, they will talk, we will listen. The class was complete and still we were very eager to understand what the topic was discussing and uh, the class was so interesting and that philosophy, that principle, even I follow it. After 19 years of experience, I still follow it. The thing is that the moment the faculty go into the class, students may be talking, students may be chatting, they may have an important call, they may have an important discussion with the friend. The moment the faculty enters, this is not the words that I am saying here. This is the words given by Abhijitullah sir and uh, Pandit Rao sir here. Right? The student has to take the liberty of finishing the talk. We should not be so arrogant. We have to give some liberty to the students initially. Let them finish the talk. Later, they have to listen to what we are delivering. So that freedom they have taught us and I still emulate those values in my lecture. I still it works for me. My students were very calm, very patient, very listening and they understand what I am saying because I value their feelings and they value my potential. That's it. It's simple. Right? So, it is a great honor for you all to study and get the admission at C. Abdul Rahim College and prepare yourself for the future. That is very important. But the future is not the way that we expect. The kind of competition is going in the market is, you cannot imagine. But one thing that we have to develop among yourself, that is, it is not the competence very important. Please understand, it is not the competence. It is a confidence matter. When you go to European countries, they pronounce the word competence and confidence same. You pronounce yourself competence, confidence, same. But what is important? Competence is very important. Your skills, your knowledge, your expertise is very important. But apart from all of those, is very important. Confidence. 
Look at all the leaders. Look at all the leaders. They are not competent. I don't want to take the people. I don't want to take the politicians. But they are not competent. But they are confident enough to stand and deliver and rule the country. You got the point? So develop your confidence. That is very important. And without confidence, you cannot take it forward. If you have no confidence, then who is going to have a confidence with you? If you think that I am not good, if you think that I am not eligible to go for a job, if you think that I am not good in programming, if you think that I am not good at studies, then who is going to help you? Eventually, it is you to decide, decide that what you want to do and how you want to progress. So that is very important. So please keep that in mind and proceed because you are the third years. The same college when I was studying, the year 2002, that is same thing like that. I was in the final year, third year BSc computer science. I got the free year for six months. Because I worried that how I was going to face the problem. Because pathetic, my family situation was not that good. My father was a farmer. I worried. Because future is what? Very dangerous, very competitive world. If you want to go and fight the competitive world, we have to develop some skills, some expertise. Particularly when you are studying BCA and BSc, what is important? As the principal rightly said, when you go to physics department, when you go to commerce department, when you go to mathematics department, the formula, the logics and other formulations are same. What was the formula or the logics they studied long back before 10 years or 100 years? The same thing still continues and it sustains. But whereas the computer field, today we have a language called C and C plus plus. Tomorrow there will be a new language called Shisha. Next year we will be a language called what Python. Next year we have a language called PHP. Things will gradually change and periodically will be eradicated. So you have to challenge yourself, you have to equip yourself, you have to prepare yourself to face a competitive world. You are standing with a competitive age. That is very important. If you are not ready to take up the challenge, if you are not ready to take the confidence, if you are not ready to instill the confidence in you, it is so dangerous for you to face a world. Because nobody is going to help you. After third year, your friends will not sit here. Who is a friend today? We are different from all. Because we will have a different friend, we will have a different job, we will be in a different city, and you will be in a different city and different countries, different locations. So my only WhatsApp that you not daily. Today you are talking to your friends daily. But after one year, after graduation, you may be at home, friend may be in US or you may be in some other college, your friend got a job in some other company. So things will go in different order. So it is not that easy to follow your life as you expect. So please challenge yourself, develop confidence. As I always say, it is not the confidence matter. Confidence, confidence matter, confidence matters. If you have no confidence, nothing will come on your way. So please prepare yourself for the ground. So I want to start a lecture. So it is a title. Demystifying natural language processing. We have had a confusion of the word demystifying. It means what? Simply explaining. When things are not in a good, or it's not good to understand, it's so complicated, the concept is not that easy to be explained, then you have to say the word called what? Demystifying. Simplifying in an easier way to the audience. So I am going to demystify what is natural language processing first. And then I'm going to talk about what are the applications and what is implications in real time. So these are two things that I'm going to do. So this is all about me. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. A. Sandil Kumar. As uh, Dr. Jean Abesh Kumar sir has said, he has given us a brief introduction. And I, I thank him for the generous introduction. And uh, I studied at BSc Computer Science at Seattle Lagin College, MSc at Kalamudu, uh, Yamfil and Korea. MTech and PhD at BAT University. Right? And uh, that is a contact uh, information. My email is given. And if you want to get any of the information, if you have any particular doubts, yes, you can ask your uh, G. Ramesh Kumar sir. He will contact me and I will help you out in any case. In feasible way, if possible, I will do that. So, next slide, sir. Before I go and talk about the NLP, I want to start from the scratch. I want to talk from the beginning. So because NLP is a vast area, it is not in your curriculum. Please understand it is not in your curriculum. You are not having any syllabus for NLP. That's why I have taken this topic. Because as you all know, everybody is following ChatGPT. How many are using ChatGPT here? Can you raise your hand? How many are using ChatGPT? Almost some people, 80%. Good. 
I will come to that later. Because this is an important and interesting information I have to pass on. I have collected an information to you all. Right? For this sake, I will come here. And talk about child security and enter the session. And uh, before I go and talk about NLP, I want to start the scratch, the ground level. First, we have to understand what is data. We have to understand what is data and so what is information. Suppose if I say 21, what do you understand? When I say the value 21, what is your meaning? What is your understanding of the value 21? Do you get any interpretation of it? Can you people for anything out of it? Now the value is over, 21 is over. You can ask me Somebody may say, that is a hard number, good. Somebody may say, it is an integer number, sir, good. Somebody may say, it is a positive number, all are good. Apart from this basic information, can you get any extra knowledge on the value 21? Very good, sir. No. When I say 21, people will give you different interpretations. Right? If I say 21, somebody may say, sir, it is a gauge. Somebody may say, sir, it is a door number. Somebody may say, it is a mark in a subject. Right? So people will give you different ideas and different interpretations of the value. I cannot get a concrete value or meaning for the particular value for what you You can take any value. Right? You don't understand it. When I say Gandhi, what do you mean by Gandhi? Is it Mahatma Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi? Or is it Gandhi Nagar? What are you meaning? So simply by value, you cannot understand anything. So how the data is going to come to the information? If I add the attribute to it, suppose I say age is equal to 21, then what is 21? Everybody in the room will accept that 21 is the age. You got the point? Now the data is a raw fact, it's a raw value, can be changed into what? The information. How? By adding attribute called what? Age is equal to 21. Now what is 21? Everybody in the room will say that 21 is the age. So nobody is saying a door number. No other person will say it is a mark uh, subject. Everybody will accept that 21 is a age. Because I give it categorically, clearly, that age is equal to what 21. Now you have accepted that age is what 21. Accepted. But the bigger problem here now is it is for information again. Again, it is for information. What it is? Whose age is 21? You understand that 21 is the age. But again, the problem comes. Whose age is 21? You got a point, sir? You understand what I mean? 21, what understanding? I am giving an attribute to it. Age is equal to 21. Now understand what is age. What is 21? It is a age. But again the problem continues. What is that? Whose age is 21? So again this track. Again we have to say that name equal to this. Address equal to this. That is called what? Your low. You have to database, right? Database means for one record. One record means what? Database means for collection of number of records. Collection of records from a database. <coughs> Row is called as what? A record. The record talks about one entity, one person, one customer, one employee. So the row only gives one complete information. So we have a data. What we do is we generate too much of data. Every day we are generating too much of data. It is growing at a phenomenal rate. Exponentially it is growing. Right? You cannot imagine how much of data is being generated in a second. Now in this room somebody will be chatting. After the class you will be watching a video. After the class you will be posting something in a message, in a WhatsApp or in a Facebook or LinkedIn or any social media. How many customers are there for Facebook? How many customers are there for LinkedIn? We are all chatting, we are all posting images. The amount of data that is generated in recent time, that is that the last one decade, that is last 10 years, is amazing. You cannot imagine the amount of data that is being generated. So please understand, we are polluting the digital space. Already we polluted what? The environment. Air is polluted, water is polluted, the food is polluted, our minds are polluted by our digital space. Now, we are polluting the environment, the digital environment. Right? So please be cautious when you are using any social media site. You are not to wait any longer when you are trying to pay internet. Please understand, when you are trying to pay internet, you are not even to pay for public number. So with that intention, with that warning, please log in, enable your data and use your mobile phone. Because all the activities are monitored, it has been investigated and it is needed, actions will be taken to the respective people. So be cautious. So 
this next term. The as I said, the world is having too much of data. But what type of data we are having? What is structure? Unstructured and semi-structured. So what is our structured data? What is our structured data? <coughs> Suppose if I'm using a database, if I have a table, I know number of columns, I know number of rows, then it is called for structure. Because when I go to apply ID, let's say student table, student registration number, student name, student uh, class, semester, everything is there. Now when I go to student name column, what I can get? I can get only student name. When I go to student phone number column, I can get only what? Student phone number. So it is completely structured and it is easy for me to infer any value or to get any value or extract any value. But if it is unstructured, it is not possible. What is unstructured data? Structured data, if you are having Excel, if you are having a table or if you are having a database, that is called as completely structured because the values are in a fixed format. I know number of columns. Number of rows cannot be known, but you can know, you can limit it. This is how many, this the target auditorium or several all, how many numbers are there? 100 numbers. So 100 columns I know. Right? I can know about it. It's fixed. If your database or if your structure is fixed, then it is called a structured data. Suppose it is not unstructured, it is not structured, then it is called unstructured. It means it what? What other things that you are in, you are posting in social media sites or in the discussion forums or in the forum that you are asking a question, then it is called unstructured. Let's take Facebook. Are you posting only text? No. You can upload images. You can upload GIF images. You can upload videos. In WhatsApp, are you sending only text messages? No. You are sending the messages. Sending the videos. Forwarding the videos. Right? All these are doing is multilingual and multi. There is a multiple data is being processed over there. So you cannot limit to one particular data. This multiple data formats. So that is called unstructured data, and there is no fixed format for it. What is called semi-structured data? Semi-structured data are helpful for machine learning problem. That is called what XML, JSON, all these are called semi-structured data. That's a different domain. I don't want to go into it. But first understand what is semi-structured data and unstructured data. Structured data means what? Fixed format. And semi-structured data means what? There is no format. There is no fixed format. If it is the case, then it is called unstructured data. So what is structured? Fixed format. What is unstructured? No format. No rules. No regulations. Then it is called what? Unstructured data. Please next. Next one is. Yes. First, I give the basic things on what, what is data. I think you understand what is data now. Right? Using data, I cannot get anything. I cannot understand anything. But if I convert the data into information, I understand it. Right? 21, you don't understand. Age is 21, you understand. Now we got information. Now, we have a sentence. In NLP is all about, natural language processing is all about reading the language. Or it may be a text or a speech. Natural language consists of a text-based analysis or a speech-based analysis. Two things are possible in NLP. Now we have a sentence, we have a paragraph, we have an entire article, we have an entire book. Now the challenging is we have to make the machine to understand those letters and characters and strings and documents. So it is highly challenging for you all to go through. Right? So for that, NLP is a branch of computer science. Please understand it. NLP is a branch of computer science. And NLP is a subfield of artificial intelligence. NLP is a computer science is one part. And the subfield is artificial intelligence is a subfield. Artificial intelligence originated long back, 1956 onwards. I am going to see it onwards. Still it is the same. Right? And still we are working on the thought, artificial intelligence. When I say NLP, it is not in a separate domain, it is a subdomain of what? Artificial intelligence. Whatever things that I am saying today here is a NLP, is a artificial intelligence, is a machine learning, is a deep learning. NLP is part of these, all of these things. Right? You cannot worry that so I don't know about machine learning because there is somebody talking about machine learning in the industry. When I go to placement, the questions are coming from machine learning concepts. A deep learning concepts, so artificial concepts, don't worry about it. When you study NLP, all things are not coming under it. It's a black of all. That's why I given it. Computer science is a part of what? The NLP is a part of computer science, industry, machine learning, and AI. Right? So it is very important to be, you have to know and aware what is NLP. So in this 
class, for the next one hour, what I'm going to do is, I don't want to give any boring lecture. I want to make the class so interesting for you all because I'm not going to teach NLP here. I have come here to teach you all English. Now we are begging the language to be understandable by the teacher. Right? So here I have taken a language called what English. I am taking a language called what English. Suppose you are designed. Sir, no, no, sir. I am not coming up in English. Now I want to do it in Tamil. I want to do it in Urdu. I want to do it in Hindi. Yes, you can go and make a machine to understand the language. You got a point? That is very challenging. That is part of this class. So in this class, what I am going to do is, I am going to teach you all the English. So how funny the English language is? How funny the English language is? It is completely a different order. You cannot imagine how the English words are formed and organized. So this is a different uh, thinking. The language, the different syntax and grammar, the constituency of the words are not same as yesterday in Tamil language or Urdu language. Right? So, as you all know, whichever newspaper or whichever site you go, everywhere is talking about what NLP. The 21st century, we are at the verge of NLP. We are competing with all the global markets because of NLP's problems. And in fact, the real NLP is the LRT. So, without NLP, no organization can progress. Because every organization wants to go with one. NLP is an A. Right? A is a market today because everything is going to be automated. Automated car. Automated machine. Right? When I, when I, when I leave the door, the door has to close. When I come in, the door has to open. Everything is automated. So that is a artist intelligence. Now, we are going to make that automation to the language. That's it. Very simple. But I am not going to teach you what is NLP. It is not possible in this session. So one or two hours, it's not possible to complete. But I'm going to give you all the intricate details, the basic details of how NLP is challenging and why people are considering, still given now, why it is so hard and complicated. <coughs> What's the kind of problem and difficulties is posing to the researchers and other analysts? That is what I'm going to discuss today. Right? So, please. Uh, as I informed you earlier, natural language is a study of how we are making the machine to understand your language. How we are going to make a machine to understand and how the machine is going to grasp the language completely and uh, how it is being doing. That is a major thing of NLP. There are two parts of NLP. One is natural language understanding and another is called what? Natural language generation. There are two things. Natural language generation is what is generative. The machine itself thinks and writes a sentence for you. Suppose we don't know how to write a leaf later. What do you do? You just go to chat in between. I am leaving today with the broken English that you leave with. For that one day, you will have another part of it. It will write a letter for you and it will send it to your next one. Who is writing it for you? Chai Chimpi is writing it. When you ask any question, Chai Chimpi will cut it to you. It is a generation. It will generate automatically. But what is natural language understanding? As a course, when you want to understand the natural language processing, you can go only to what? Natural language understanding. You are going to understand the language processing. First, you have to understand the language, whether the language is English or Tamil or Hindi or Arabic or Urdu, whatever it may be, first we have to understand the language. The grammatical structure, the internal structure of the language you have to understand. It is not that we as a human understand. We are making the machine to understand the language. That is a particular picture of this one. Right? So that is what I am going to do here. There are two goals in natural processing. One is science goal, other one is called engineering goal. Because we are not studying science. So I cannot talk about what the engineering aspect here. Science goal is only to understand the language, the English language, not the man, man not the human, the machine. So how we are making the machine to understand the language and this is science goal. What is our engineering goal? After understanding the language, the system has to analyze and generate a language. It has to produce a new sentence, new language or new paragraph, new content. It has to generate automatically, that is the engineering goal. When you develop any project, then you have to go for what engineering aspect or science aspect. Right? So these are basic things of NLP. And next one, sir. So what we can do? What this NLP is uh, aimed for, is necessary for? First one is it is analyzing your text. 
What other texts you are reading? You can be a text document, news, or any social media content, or any search story, whatever you can do. It is analyzing your sentences. Second one is, it has to translate into machine. It is not that I understand. Human, as a human, I understand. It is all about to make the machine to understand. Right? And third one is, how it is communicating with the, the machine and others, other devices. Right? Now you have a Google app, a Google Siri, Alexa, all the things. Please call to that person X. You will be calls. Please close the door. The machine understands your language and then do the action. That is for what communicate naturally. Which one? Not human, machine. That is the idea. So for doing these fundamental things, of, these are basic things that are spreading and NLP. Doing this, what is very important is we have to make the machine to understand. Now, it is so hard. English language is so funny as you all know. So that one I am going to discuss first. And why NLP is so hard and why it is so challenging. For that, yes sir. Uh, I come to that later. Uh, you can go next. Yeah, the structure is more complicated. NLP is all about when you want to make NLP perfect, it is not possible. Even today. Even today. Yes. I, I give a simple story. I give a simple story for you all to understand. Last year, last not last year, six months back, right? I decided not to use chat GPT. I come to the part why you should not use chat GPT later. And what form you have to use, I'll come later. And everybody is talking about chat GPT and everybody is working on chat GPT. And uh, my kids even, my daughter and son are talking about chat GPT. And they want me to work on chat GPT. They want to show me how chat GPT works. So one day, all my family members, wife, daughter, and the son sat together in their room. I opened my laptop. For the very first time, I am logging into chat GPT. Right? Give the Google account. <coughs> Open chat GPT. And I don't know what to ask him. I don't know what to ask him. Then simply ask my wife, do you have any question with the machine? So my, my wife also thought for a minute and then said, please ask, when Gandhi born? It's an important question, right? It's an important question. My wife asked, simply asked me, just ask when Gandhi was born. Then I type in chat GPT, when Gandhi was born. Immediately chat GPT is responding to me. Gandhi was called Mohandas Karanjan Gandhi. He was born in Goa, but he was giving a paragraph, an entire paragraph. Now I decided to play the chat GPT. The moment he gave the answer, I thought immediately it struck my mind, I want to play the chat GPT. Immediately the next question is, sorry, you are completely wrong. I didn't ask about the Mohandas Karanjan Gandhi. I talked about Rahul Gandhi. Immediately he said, sorry, I have opened A. I know the data of 2021 and uh, sorry for the information, I have wrong information and Rahul Gandhi is a parliamentarian and he is a, a son of Rajiv Gandhi and he was born in this day, in this beginning. Again, it is a to play with ChatGPT. Absolutely you are wrong. I am not talking about a politician Rahul Gandhi. I am talking about a person who is uh, sitting next to my door. Then ChatGPT is apologies, sorry sir, really, I know I have opened AI, I don't know any data. About up to 2021, I have, then it really responded to me. That is very important you want to know. So you immediately respond that if the person is residing next to your door, please go and knock that door and ask the person data for That's what I said. I Gandhi, the person who is going to go to the door, I said, Lord, the people are going to go So which one is doing that? The machine is talking like this. Spontaneous, instantaneous. It is responding. How it has been doing it? That is a challenging aspect. So NLP is all about what? Ambiguity. Fix your mind. Ambiguity. Ambiguity meaning what? Palapurlu the word. For words of language, palapurlu the word. But Tamil language is not very good. I don't know about other languages, but I know about Tamil and English, so I am saying it. Tamil language is not very good. For the word of the word, the word of the word is not very good. And the word of the word. It is so ambiguous. The problem in English language is it is completely ambiguous. Let's take an example over here. Bank. The same. Bank. What does it mean? Bank of the national bank, the river bank. 
your native language. Right? But English is the added advantage to your belt. Please go through that. Understand it completely. This is very, very necessary for your belt. Right? So that's one aspect of it. The chicken is difficult. Now there are many more problems in English language. Go next time. Next one is expressivity. What is ambiguity? Ambiguity is not one word, one sentence, and one word. That is called ambiguity. Next one is called what? Expressivity. The same word or the same sentence can be described in different ways. That is meaning. That is called meaning. Meaning is called meaning. That can be expressed in many ways. She gave the book to Tom. She gave the book to Tom. What is the meaning of it? Amal. Book है, हर एक बुक का, काम पे बुक का, ऐसा मीनिंग आता है, पिट्टियों मीनिंग, she gave the book to Tom, अगर वो ऐसा किया था लोग, ये मीनिंग का, है ना सोचा है, she gave Tom the book, मीनिंग से, she he gave Tom the book, correct? Next one, some kids pop them, क्या मीनिंग है? इसी के लिए तो pop them तो इतनी बात आ रहा है, इसी के लिए तो, right? Some students अटेंड नहीं थे, अटेंड नहीं थे सेमिनार some students turn them for the seminar, send them away for them. Send them away meaning them. And where are any sentences? Where are the words? What the point? So, is the window still open? Is the window still open? And the window is under the So, what I'm asking is, I'm asking you to close the window. Please close the window. Make the window open. Sir, you don't close the window. 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 आवे विंडो क्लोज करो सोलो दर विंडो शेयर ना डेयर ना सोलो दे सर विंडो विंडो क्लोज करने सोलो दे ना जस्ट इंजर टाइम आस्किंग इट इसे विंडो स्टिल ओपन व्हाट इस मीनिंग ऑफ सेंटेंस आई एम आस्किंग हिम और हर टू क्लोज द विंडो द सेम वर्ड द इंटरेस्ट इस सेम बट इन डिफरेंट एक्सप्रेशंस दिस इस आना पड़ेगा इसमें स्पीडी आज तो वाफ़ फोन चिकन लगा रहे हैं सर पासिंग में तो वाफ़ फीस इस तरह की कुछ चले इन एडल ऐसे बुक बुर बुक ना आगे का आना सर वो बी वो वो के अरे बुक वो क्या ना बी वो वो के इस अपो सिंगलर ना का बुक क्यों अपो लूलर ना अपो यस नो अपो अब ये ना तो बाय बाय स्पीस बॉक्स की वो एक्सप्रेशन ई एस कॉलम राइट रेड फ्लाई कर के फ्लाई का ई अल फ्लाई का पार्ट होता है रेड मीनिंग कर करता है आधे लाभिक भी फ्लाई कर के फ्लाइस अब आ फ्लाई वाला एस कॉलम लगा लेडी क्या है लेडी वाई लेडी सुनो तो क्या लेडी वाई एस कॉलम लगा मालूम है दिस इस अ वर्क फॉर एक्सपीरियंस एंड � House, Delhi, house, right? I'll be very house. Is that a solution? House is a solution. Mice, M I C. Wife, what is that? Very wife, is that a? W I F E. Wife, very wife, is that a? Yes, for you, ma. D A D S for you, ma. Completely change that meaning, right? Ah, for more than that. सिक्स डे रुके हैं, पांच डे इस तरह सात डे सोलो, राइट? रन डे रुके हैं, पांच डे इस तरह रन डे, वीड डे रुके हैं, पांच डे इस तरह वीड डे रुके हैं, पांच डे इस तरह हाँ रेड डे ये सब डे रेड सेम मीनिंग सेम वर्ड सेम स्पेलिंग अरे पुराने से समझ मार दिया हुआ क्या नहीं तो जैसे एक साल बीस दिन होता है, पांच दिन से ना रेंट भी आप इसको, अगर जेस कर ली, तो दिस इस कंपलीटली ए डिफरेंट थिंग इन जनरल भी, राइट? अगेन इस नॉट स्टे, स्टिल कंटिन्यूस दिस नेक्स्ट, व्हाट इस नेक्स्ट थिंग? इन ना स्पेलिंग्स और इन ना वर्ड्स, अगर वन टू आईडेंटिफाई अ वर्ड, अगर वन � how do I identify a word or a sentence? For a sentence, how do you understand the sentence? Full stop. In any language, right? Not from any language. I think some arithmetic is not a full stop in the Asha. Turkish, there is no full stop. And Chinese also, the Chinese language, there are no spaces between the words. Right? There is no full stop. Right? Now, what is the meaning of the word? Right? Now, what is the meaning of the word? Right? Now, what is the meaning of the word? Right? Now, what is the meaning of the word? Right? Now, what is the meaning of the word? Right? Now, what is the meaning of the word? Right?
Chinese language, la, between the two words, there is a space that is not E, space, prime, space, two words, Chinese language, la, Turkish language. La. So different languages use different syntax and grammar. So we can argue that every language has a different term, uh, same uh, grammar will construct. It is not like so. But here, they say, what about the abbreviations like D or C? D dot C, U dot S dot A, U got a sentence in the I am going to DC. DC is a, I am going to say the correct thing of it. Suppose I am going to USA, U dot S dot A. So sentence is there, U dot S A dot O. Right? So it is not that. And also, what about the Congress names new one? New one, what the young one, what the young one? Because these are the top rates from over there. Younger ones face because of the direct photos of the world again of the world. Because of the Chinese people, the Turkish people, the English people, the space is not over. But new people are not over. Different world. New Delhi is new world. New world state is Delhi world state. So how are we going to solve this problem? And even if I go for doesn't, couldn't, so I am posing a single word. Does it say the same thing? No. So this problem is so dangerous. And suppose what happened is, the first advice, when you are learning NLP, they ask you to convert the language into what? Lower case. Upper case, in the case of the lower case, also you are. There is no pre processing step. The pre processing step, they ask you to convert the language, the sentence into what? Lower case. If you guys say, I am sort of saying, I am going to use more. I am going to US tomorrow. US is the United States. If you are not going to be a mother, you must know why not. Ask you why not. So, you get to do that sort of mistake when you go out there with the pre-processing steps. Because if you can type it as dialysis, it is completely ambiguous. Right? And next to one, even one year thing is next to one. The next to one is spelling variance and typing mistakes. Let's go cap, 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 these guys. First one is completely at the lower case. Second one is Need cap, also release capital. Third one is all caps, upper case. All the three are safe. All three talking about a pet animal cap. First cat is talking about a pet animal. Second cat talking about the pet animal such an animal. Third cat C A T can be a company name. The company can be a company name. C A T is a company name. Pass through, right? Right? Apple is there. Apple is there. Fruit is there. Now phone is over. Our company is over. What a point. So, it is completely different. U.S. is over. U dot S dot A is over. What the U.S. is over. What the U.S. A base company is over. People will give a different interpretation and style to the world. So, that is a different abbreviation and isolations are given to the world. So, this you cannot understand that this is completely phenomenal and it is completely what? Yeah? Different expression. So you can understand the language that easy. When the machine wants to understand the language, it is very difficult. That is why still the machine is confusing. The chat is is confusing a lot. As I said, I talk about Gandhi, it is giving Radhu Gandhi. It is giving to Mughal Gandhi. And it is giving different thing. Why? Because the context is not meaningful. I am saying one more thing. Dial to Rock Sobala. Dial is the meaning of it. Dial to Rock Sobala. Dial to Rock Sobala. Dial to Rock Sobala. Now, I am giving a word. The fisherman went to bank yesterday. Now, what does that mean? What the bank means here? What the bank means here? Any problem? Fisherman went to bank yesterday. What is your understanding now? What is the bank means here? River, right? Why? It is going to bank. Fisherman. But the sentence must stop there. The test comes from up there. I need to eat the past that morning. Yeah, the fisherman body is not bad about that. The test is not saying the same. The fisherman went to the bank yesterday and the past that morning. What do you call it? So, this is highly challenging. NLP is so complicated, it is so difficult, and it is so cumbersome when you process the data. Right? So, these are things we have. And there are different uh, 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 style and variance for the words. Color, C-O-L-O-R. Don't mean that. C-O-L-O-R. 
What is the meaning of it? It is negative by the word is first. But if there are many words, as I said, express meaning, you can express the words in different senses, which is not conveying positive, negative, and neutral. But actually, it is a displaying word, it is expressing a positive tone. But it is not being expressed correctly in the sentence. Then, how can I go to understand it? Actually, it meant the movie is a fast food movie. But it has given a different order. Yesterday, I had to give a short story. All the things I am saying, right? I am talking in English, right? And you believe that I am a good speaker. All the things. Last week, I went to 60 school for admission. One of my faculty wants to get the admission in BAE. Sorry, 60 school, next to BAE. Right? It is very challenging to get the admission in 60 school. And the student was rejected for some standard. But the fact that he asked me is that can you recommend? Because your sons and kids are your sons are studying there. So can you recommend something? Okay, sir, because I am a boss, right? I am an influential person. I take a friend, went to the school, met the vice president. Actually, I met the vice president and she is a friend to me. That's a different matter. And said, sir, so, so I can help you because the admission is very limited. Because there is no seats available. Please go and see the coordinator. I just went to the coordinator room and she asked me to sit and I sat there. Then immediately said, Sir, the student didn't get through the test. The student, what she said? Student didn't get through the test. What is the meaning here? The student didn't get through the test. Sir, how is How is the weather? Sir, sir. Now, if I think that, and the five exam is a little bit there, I will not see that. Again, I am repeating to the ma'am. No, no, ma'am, yes, do the test. Again, the coordinator says to me, no, no, sir, he didn't get through the test. Later, I understand that she said she failed, he failed the exam. Right? Sometimes what happens when we are conversing in a different tone, in a different distance, that you don't understand the language, it is that easy. It is so challenging. She simply can say that the student failed in the exam. I understand it. Now, my English, all of Right? Simply can she can say, sir, he failed in the exam, that's why he didn't select it. But what she has said, he didn't get through the test. I thought that he didn't go through the test. So the phrase is very, very important in the English language. But the sentence has not given any negative impression. Please understand it. The sentence has not given any negative impression. But still it more based what? It's a positive sentence and negative sentence. Clear? Yeah, that is the major problem in sentence analysis, but we are doing it. And if you want to do your research on negative analysis, this is a good score because it is a challenging field. Next sir. Next one is information retrieval. Information retrieval means what? We have to get the content from the stored documents, text documents. Now when you go, go to Google, type any word. Now you want to understand what is NLP. Just like what is NLP. What is the link you are getting? Top 10 pages you are getting, right? How do you also getting it? Based on the store, you can tell us you For you, you can pop up on the bottom. There is people's own. There is subscribers own. Right? If only you get more views, more likes, more shares, more subscribers, then your video will pop up. Otherwise, your video will not pop up. It will not be popped up to any other viewers. Likewise, here, if you have a web page in the Google or anywhere, if the page has to be ranked higher, then it has to be index appropriate. So that is the biggest study, that is for search engine optimization. SEO is a process going behind this kind of things. So this is also very important thing. The next one is called for what information extraction, that is, for information extraction, information retrieval means what? Get that data from the indexed data, stored data. Next one is called what information extraction, that means, that means, what is that? Let's say, Peterson, I said that Steve Jobs was born in San Francisco on 24th February 1955. This is the sentence. Now, in the sentence, I want to know who is that Steve Jobs, person or company. San Francisco is a company or a place. And then 24th February 1955 is a date or what? The value. So the system has to understand it. The system, actually, my PhD thesis was then on this case only. Right? But the problem in English is if our words are given like this, it's so easy. The words are given in the English language, pure English, natural English means okay. But how do I type in English? See you tomorrow. How do I type in English? C E E Y 
Thank you. 